<laughs> this is a real sweet one we've been doing forever. Um, in our band, the Foghorn String Band, Caleb sings the melody of this, but Nadine has always sung this um, to you even before he started playing with us or whatever, but it's a great one to kind of, it doesn't have like a different melody on the chorus or anything, it's just like the same. And we like to teach it because um, the words are really easy and we don't need to bother making photocopies. So. Yeah. Great. It's just gonna be. <laughs> but it's it's really clear the way. Somebody it, loves you. Is in three out of the four phrases. <laughs> time and place for it to be kind of a the park. <laughs> but yeah, you, you, same with the Cajun music we play, you think about it, you know, playing for an audience of people dancing around and you're trying to cut above mm -hmm. everything. No Being styles of music that existed before electricity, you just really <laughs> needed to belt it down. Yeah. Just try to have that in the back of your mind when you're singing. Finding like, the right range. Find the right key and to just sound as loud as possible. Okay. <laughs> It sounds obnoxious to say it like that, but it's kind of what it is. Like the like Cajun songs too. Like I, I'm like, well, I'm imagining as if I'm singing over people uh, drinking, laughing, <laughs> fighting, <laughs> everything. So, <laughs> so yeah. that way you can just like try it in different yeah. keys. Because when you're learning a song, it seems like you tend to learn it a little bit lower than what you think yeah. you're capable of. Always. Which is okay. But then once you have all the notes of the melody and all the words down and you feel more comfortable, it's really not uncommon to be able to bump it a few keys up and be like, oh wow, the volume just doubled. Yeah. I feel we, like... It wasn't this song. Clearer, it was, like, yeah. and, and to just try to figure out like where in your body does the song, the sound comes from, mm -hmm. comes from. Mm -hmm. I feel like I did, like when I sing like that and sing a song at that range, I feel like I did like a hundred sit-ups. I feel like <laughs> right Yep. It's just that it's coming like, like you're, just, I don't know, listen to the Stanley Brothers, listen to Ralph get some of those high harmonies. It's like, so amazing. Um, but yeah, like we, in Foghorn, we played a tune one time. We played a, a tune for 15 years probably and Caleb always sang it in G and then we were kind of making a set list and I think my fiddle was maybe in A. We are playing a really big show, it was going to be some great video footage we are going to get, you know, it was a couple years ago and he, he, like, oh we should start with that and I'm like, well my fiddle's in A he's like, I think I can do it in A and it was like the coolest thing ever, it was just like soared, it was like everyone's harmonies just kind of locked into place but we had been performing and playing it for probably 15 years before that lower it's just kind of it, it's, it's like it's not a set in stone thing and sometimes you know you play on a Sunday morning at you know after a weekend at a festival sometimes you got to do the opposite <laughs> what are we in today we're in the key of G I'm doing the key of G because it works quite nicely I think for 
for uh, uh, most people's ranges. And, and the first step of learning harmony singing is just to be really, really solid with the melody. Mm -hmm. So we're all yeah. going to sing I'll the melody. Let's all try all the together. melody. Mm -hmm. so start with the tenor. Because I don't know if maybe some of you have done like orchestra or, or uh, choir singing and stuff where you'll you, they use the same terminology that we do, but it means completely different things where we're going to use uh, something called the melody, something called the tenor and the baritone. And those baritone and tenor don't mean your vocal range, but mean the relationship with the melody. Well, there's different stacking too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the melody in the middle and the harmony that's right above the melody is called a tenor and the one that's right below is called a baritone. So now we have like a sandwich melody. 
but we can have different stacking where we'll take, let's say, the melody on top. If you if your singer has like a really high voice, then right below will be the tenor, or right below will be the baritone, and instead of having the tenor on top, we're going to put all the way down an octave mm. and call it the low tenor. Mm. So we'll have that stacking, and if opposite, your melody is really low, then right above will be your tenor, but we'll take the baritone and bump it an octave above, so we'll have a high baritone. Mm. So those are the three stackings that we can have. Yeah, I do a lot of low tenor parts, like if I'm doing duo stuff with Caleb a lot, because his voice is a lot higher than mine. But, and I do probably a lot of high baritone with you, or, or low, low tenor. So, this song's in G, so I'll go. And like most songs, I don't know what the percent is, but it's pretty high. We'll start on either the first, third, or fifth note of the scale. So. start sliding up until it sounds good because it's going to sound really horrible for a long time and then all of a sudden it'll be like ah. <laughs> so. on songs we've done for almost 15 years together, you know, and like actually learn together, but like, wait, I think actually that's, you know, you can help be helpful to to have an instrument in hand and be like, did you let them go? And I, I know the next available note is going to be. So. So let's just uh, separate in half. Here we'll do the tenor melody over there and then we'll switch around. Uh, help with the melody. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two. So
doing the... I think I tried it really hard. Yeah. 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 So we were learning a song recently, and I was so certain, like I had this baritone part just like nailed, and then our buddy came over, and he was doing the tenor part, and I sang my part, and I had to relearn like half of the phrases because I was doing a low tenor. It was just so much more intuitive for me to do low tenor, but then, but it's very challenging. It's it's a lot of fun doing that kind of work. Yeah. So it'll be it's very satisfying. <laughs> Well, here's the melody, you know. So. Yeah. 
not what? easy. <laughs> Why did you let them go? So, for the ladies that have a higher voice, you can try just to do it. You probably do it on the higher part. But you're super high. Sing the melody and everyone else do the that baritone part, whether it's low baritone. So stacking where the melody's on the bottom, the tenor starts here. Somebody loves you, darling. Somebody loves you, I know. Somebody loves you dearly. Why Okay. 
It's just how it works in the scale oh, no. and in the, in the chord of the key. Mm -hmm. So that makes it kind of less intuitive because you want to move more because yeah. you have that melody and your rhythm. Right. Well, you, right. you still keep the rhythm. You've got the rhythm. Okay, melody here.
Intro, int instrumental intro, verse, chorus, solo, verse, chorus, solo, maybe a last chorus, repeat the last line, song's over. But that's like a pretty yeah. typical mm -hmm. type of thing. But not like... In, in, in Cajun, in, sometimes they'll do the whole, they'll do a chorus and a verse, yeah. and a chorus without singing. Yeah. 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 Well, they do more like solos where like the... Like the fiddle, will, like if if there's a pedal steel, the pedal steel will go first, then the fiddle, and it'll finish with the accordion. And the accordion, since it's like self-proclaimed king of the <laughs> instrument, <laughs> <laughs> they can play like both the two parts of the tune, yeah. and then this, this one's a, this one's a little different because the the verse and the chorus are exactly the same melody. But if that's not the case, like like in Cajun music, it'll be like. The A part and B part, but then the you'll like you'll sing the melody will be over the A part, but then the instrumental will start with the A part. Right. So that's that's not the case. Well, yeah. But a lot of times it's a little more predictable. Yeah, it, a lot of times. Yeah. Usually the chorus will be. And this one was kind of more in the bluegrass, so like they'd be playing individual instruments. Mm -hmm. Not all together, like, yeah, not yeah. Any other questions? You ready to dance? That's my yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> 